I just bought 10 kilos of roach food. And did I come into the room, set my phone there, go out and walk back in just so that I can film me carrying some roach food in? No. Nope. Totally not. Oh, yeah, anyways, guys. Um, roach food. Yeah. Because I'm kind of running out. Well, not exactly running out, but I just thought of like stocking up because yeah that's pretty much what i have left and yeah just just thought of filming this because why not and this is basically what i feed my roaches little corn pellets and they're doing just fine the thing is right a lot of people feed their roaches what do you call those like dog food and cat food and yeah all those um i don't recommend that because first of all dubia roaches they are high in what's that protein right so if you give them those dog food which are also high in protein they would probably, I mean, not probably, but they will release uric acid. And if you are feeding your roaches to reptiles, it can cause gout. So I would recommend against feeding something that is high protein to your roaches. I mean, you could feed them high protein food once in a blue moon, but I wouldn't feed like... Yeah, this one is the... It looks different because this is the... The grinded up one the, the bottom ones are the pellets because when i went before this when i went last time they did not have the fine ones so i mean for roaches the fine ones are better but yeah back to the topic i don't recommend you guys to feed those because you don't want your reptiles to have gout right because if they have gout then you're gonna have problems so just just feed your it will, it's recommended, sorry I can't speak, but it is recommended that you feed your dubia roaches food that have 18% max of protein. Don't feed anything that is above 18%. I would imagine, yeah, occasionally would be fine, but just no, don't, don't uh, feed, don't feed them with high amount of protein, okay? The best is if you can't, I mean, if you, if you don't want to feed these, the best are fruits and vegetables. You cannot go wrong with fruits and vegetables. Just prepare them. Just make sure that the fruits and vegetables are free of pesticides because what are pesticides meant to kill? Insects. And roaches are insects. So yeah, just against that, okay? Just, just don't feed them anything with pesticides and anything that has high amounts of protein. Just feed them something with low protein. I mean, if you want to feed them dog food, you can feed them the dog food that... Just, just find the cheapest dog food because the cheapest ones are the ones with more grains in them and more... How do I say? Um, more wheat, I think. Yeah, more rice. So, yeah, you can... I would imagine that you can feed your roaches those. But for... In general, like in general, a lot of people feed cat food, which is just a big no-no because cat food is really super high in proteins because cats, they're pretty much carnivores, so they need a lot of protein. Do not feed your roaches freaking cat food because, yeah, like I said, you're going to end up with gout issues in your reptiles. I'm not sure if it's going to affect tarantulas, but for reptiles, yeah, I would recommend against it. So now I'm going to have to, I think all of these will, I think I'm going to, this whole thing will fill up before these even finish. So yeah, let me fill this up. So I just poured all of the 10 packets in there and I'm not going to be able to <laughs> close it. So let's just toss some and feed the roaches. Why not, right? Hello. Yeah, they still have food, but it's fine. They can have more. Oh man, this is heavy. This is easy. I think there's about 20 kilos in here. All right, let's go. Oh, please don't spill on the floor. 
That would not be good. Hey, raw cheese. There you go. Don't spill on the floor. Come on and have some food. Oh man, I'm really spilling on the floor. No! Oh no, no, no. Get in. Yeah, it's kind of like flat now, but I'm still going to be using some more. One more scoop. Usually I'll just give them two scoops, but now it's like full, so. Yeah, that's gonna last them quite a while. As you can see, they're already coming out to eat. The next step is, I mean, not the next step, the next thing is to feed the Turkistan roaches. Oh, Paul. Hello, Turks. Yeah, these guys are kind of out of food. So you guys can have some food. Here you go. Enjoy. So I hope, <laughs> I hope that now this thing can close. Do you think it can close? Oh man, see, they're really coming to eat. All right, please be able to close. I think it'll be good. Yeah, yep, success. It's just that I can't put the cup in, so whatever. Well, at least the roaches are happy. And I have stock for at least two months. Oh, just good. Okay. Now these, I guess they go in the bin. So yeah, that is it for this video. I shall title this as I bought 10 kilos of roach food. So yeah.